What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another 911 reaction. This is going to be season three, episode five. Let's go. A rage room? Come on, it'll be fun. We get to smash a bunch of junk. Emily, we are doing this. When is the last time you allowed yourself to feel angry? Really angry? Never. Even after Eric asked you for the divorce. Just Ooh. think of his face every time you smash something to pieces. Okay, and then. Oh, this would be fun. I've always wanted to go to a place like Shall this. We? You gotta go harder than that. Really? I don't think this is working. You gotta reach down deep and find your way! Yeah. <laughs> we made a big anniversary dinner and Eric didn't even show up. Didn't that piss you off? Yes. Oh, okay. That a girl. The time when he took that boy strip up in Big Bear and he left you with a sick two-year-old. I was covered in puke. He was at a ski lodge sipping bourbon and smoking cigars. What about that thing he does where he barks like a seal when he's having sex? What is wow. I never told you about that. Sure oh, you did. Oh, shit. Ah, you must have. You tell me everything. I knew there was someone else. And it was you. No, you about to beat her with that? Not recently. There's a post of What's your emergency? My best friend's trying to kill me! What is that noise? Oh my, my god. Friend. She's gonna kill me! Ma'am, where are you calling from? Uh, I have these reach rooms. Down, down! This is the dumbest thing people in LA pay money for. Genius. Your victim's in there. Where? There. Your victim climbed into the barrel. I thought the point was to smash things, not each other. Wife, mistress, adulteress, slut! Does the adulterous slut have a name? Denise. You can't hear you very well in there. Ears ringing. Denise, are you hurt? What? Looks like she's sledgehammered in there. Pretty good, Cap. You saw us in Jaws. On it, Cap. Denise, we're going to cut you out of there. What? Holy shit. You have the right to remain Wait, silent. Wait, don't arrest her. This is all my fault. Bail her out. I'd rather rot in jail. Should have never trusted you. Consider this the end of our friendship. I hate so much anger in the world these days. I can see why this place is all the rage. See what I did there? Oh, I see. We're going to have some anger management people on this episode. Pretty sure I'm going to have an easier day than you are. A root canal would be more fun. <laughs> Six embryos made it. We can schedule the transfer. Yes. <laughs> I guess we have to start deciding exactly how many little pairs of feet we want. Mom, have you seen my phone charger? Why am I the lost and found? In Ooh. the kitchen. Next to the coffee maker. And Harry, let's go. What time are you and Bobby leaving? We're not. I thought you guys were going to that B&B up the coast. Buck's suing the city to get his job back. Bobby has to go in for an arbitration hearing today. The last time I saw Buck, he was coughing up blood on the patio. He's a sweet kid, but I need to stop inviting him over. Chaos inevitably ensues. Sounds like a great idea. None of this would have happened if you hadn't invited him over for dinner. And that would be my <laughs> cue. Hey, Harry, come Blame on, let's him. go, man. And if we're late, I am definitely blaming you. It's genetically impossible for Gigi to get mad at Bobby. You too. See, be good. Don't give your dad too much trouble. Give Gigi a kiss hello from me. I will. Have fun. Ooh. So, what is that about this buck thing being my fault? I think I'll exercise my right to remain silent. I love you. This is not a trial, and I am not a judge. This arbitration will address Mr. Buckley's claim against the Los Angeles Fire Department. Come on, Buck in a suit. Yes. He still has his job. Yes. The firefighter Buckley, while not technically fired, been constructively terminated. A de facto firing. Pattern of discriminatory and unequal treatment on the part of Captain Nash. Still getting paid? Treatment. I don't treat Buck any differently than I do any other firefighter under my watch. See, I was hit from behind the construction truck, and the rebar entered the back of my skull, exited my forehead. See that little scar? That's all I ended up with. It's miraculous. And how long did it take before you returned to work? Uh, several weeks. No, you know what? It was closer to a month. Quick healer, evidently. Evidently. And your more recent medical trauma? After you were stabbed repeatedly by your girlfriend's ex-husband? How long before you were back with the 118? That was also about a month. So it's fair to say Captain Nash has followed a pattern of allowing firefighters back after less than a month. No, I don't think it is fair to say. Every patient is different. The blood thinners that Buck has to take makes it very dangerous for him to be in the field. Do you recognize this brochure? Yes. Tell us what it is. It's a commercial brochure for anticoagulant blood thinner medication. You yourself sold in your former career as a pharmaceutical rep, is that right? Ooh, yes. shit. Your sales pitch that these medications would allow patients to resume their normal lives? I was a sales rep, not a doctor. But you were a field medic. It doesn't qualify me to comment on Buck's medical status. 
does make me understand the chain of command. The cap says he's not ready, he's not ready. Were you ready to return to work after your wife's death? That's my business. It's also your captain's business. Oh, he never man, suggested I hate time. this. Is he a counselor? He wasn't there at the time. Because he'd been suspended. I don't see how it is relevant. It's relevant because it illustrates how everyone is allowed to return to the job no matter the injury or infraction. What about your own chronic medical condition, Captain Nash? The National Institute of Health classifies alcoholism as a chronic brain disease. Oh. I'm it's over. You are now. Isn't it true that just about a year and a half ago, you did have a relapse? I did. After the Liberty jet crash, I drank. I was not on duty. But it was you and Mr. Buckley who found Bobby passed out in his apartment. Yes. Damn. That happened. I did not know about that. That was before I got here. You asked my client for his help that day. That's exactly what he did. He helped you, and then you returned to your full duties. I mean, the thing yes, is, is he's true. gonna so ruin his relationships when he comes back. Why would any of them want to work with them? He did everything in his power to help you return to your job. Oh, I thought that went great. I'll let you know when I hear. Okay. I just, I don't think I would go that. I don't. I wouldn't go that route. Here at the McDouglas Duck Farm, where countless innocent duck lives are being snuffed out on a daily basis. If you want to support our mission, please go to our website. We're coming. Oh my God. We're here in the slaughterhouse. Mechanized murder. What are y'all about to get clamped to the hooks? The hell are you people doing here? You're trespassing. We're making sure no more innocent ducks die today. Don't do that. Rage against the cage. Rage against the cage. It's going to be like automatic. Hey, hey, hey. Now that's just vandalism. Wow, you guys are stupid. Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. We got a bunch of idiots here about to be dead ducks. Pretty dumb. Pretty freaking stupid. Now it seems to be stuck. Toby, where is the key to your lock? We can't find it. I swallowed it. Swallowed it? We didn't say anything about swallowing the key. You withheld information from your team. How's that working out for you? Need a bolt cutter. Coming in hot. We're gonna get you to the hospital. I don't need to go to the hospital. He needs to go to jail. Yep. Hey, did you just shut that off? So? So you could have done that the whole time and you just let it run? Yeah. And they were trespassing. They're gonna die. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's messed up. Toby, what's happening? Start an what's wrong? That's pretty fucked up. Get him on a backboard now. Let's go. What's going on? Are you okay? I got a pulse. Let's ventilate. He must have torn his trachea. Lean on my bag, McGill forceps. Please don't let him die on my property. Is this guy serious? He's still not breathing. Two more rescue breaths. Chest is rising. He's breathing. You still want to press charges? I think we're good. Wow. I thought that we agreed to be technology free. We just passed LA city limits. At least check on your brother to make sure he's still breathing. I think he's in a food coma from Gigi's cooking. That's the only way to go. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm, that looks good. Call Diet we'll suck. Okay. Ooh. Or not. Come on. Hey. License and registration. It's uh, in the glove box. You mind if I reach for it? All right, here you go. This is your car? It's on the paperwork. Step out of the car, sir. What? Why? It's fine, baby. For what? Sit tight. And what did he do? Where are you coming from? Visiting my mother. Do you mind if I ask why you put me over? Expire tags. Wait here while I run your information. I actually have Don't a tag. Don't move. Turn around. Put your hands on the hood. Wait here while I run your plates. Hold on don't. for a second. I said don't move! Put your hands on the hood! Friend here is having trouble listening to directions. What are you doing to my dad? Get back in the vehicle. May, get back in the car. No, they can't just treat us like this. No, stop. Stop. Stop! Hands in the air! Stop! No! Don't shoot my son! Don't you shoot my son! Look, my wife is a sergeant. Her name is Athena Grant. LAPD. Please. Can you imagine? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This shit makes me sick, man. Okay. Hey, Harry, sit tight, man. We got this. Yeah. Come on. You folks have a nice night. Yeah, fuck off. Come on. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Go get in the car. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. It's just, it's so, it's so infuriating why, like, how many situations get escalated for no reason. Just like that worse than that so annoying shoot first and ask questions later they didn't fire their weapon it was just a bad stop it wasn't just a bad stop dad gonna get arrested oh no, man come here it's okay no it's not okay could have killed harry and they could have killed you it's the truth why do they do that to us they overreacted they saw me as a scary 
black man. Arguing with the police probably wasn't the best. Are you blaming me? You're giving them the benefit of the doubt. Because I am them. You don't know what's waiting for you when you walk up to that window. The father and his two kids. Maybe that was the moment that they should have stood down. It's not as simple as pick a side. The good outnumber the bad. Those cops will go home tonight, and they'll probably sleep easy. My son and daughter are sitting here traumatized. I have it all on my cell phone. I'm posting the video. Oh, but shit. We do not need that kind of attention. I do not want that for you. Probably wouldn't get that much of a reaction anyway. The police are not the enemy. Because that's how I felt when they pulled the gun out on our son. It's so touchy. Okay, it's Let's so move. touchy. Are you sure about this? I want to go. Dylan is so excited. You got my emails, right? I did. Very detailed. Have fun. Call me if you need anything. Okay, now. Nah. Love you. Love you too, kid. <laughs> go, 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 go. He's going to be okay. Doctor says sleepover will be great for him. Not sure how good it's going to be for me. Okay, we'll call you if there's any problem. Relax, recharge. I will return him to you in one piece tomorrow. That's a handicap spot. I had knee surgery and had to park three rows in. Must be nice to own the world. I'm not doing this with you, man. My kid has CP, and I just dropped him off. Like those guys that put uh, dummies in their passenger seats? You just insult my Kid. You got something to say about that? If you're coming to bail me in. Oh shit, he punched him in the call. face. I didn't realize we reached the bail each other out of jail phase of our friendship. I don't mind the bailing, but I'm a little concerned about the jailing part. There's a snack. Punched a handicapped guy. He wasn't handicapped. He had a bad knee. Bless him. Learn. Hope so. Hope this guy doesn't have a lawyer. Damn. I mean, that guy was a prick, in. though, I'll, for I'll doing that. Boy, you got here fast. That was messed up. Y you said you had big news? The biggest. What is this? That is the city's offer. They want to settle. It's only a jumping off point. We can counter. This is all they're offering. Did I, uh, did I forget a zero? No, I got it right. I don't want millions. I, I want my job back. But you'd be a millionaire. Congratulations. You never have to have a job again. Yeah, I didn't do this for money. I did this so that I could go back to doing what I love. I mean, uh, do you really think they're going to welcome you back? Right. I mean, not to toot my own horn. I raked your friends over the coals pretty hard. Wait, I told you that stuff, not so that you would use it. What happened to attorney-client privilege? It doesn't work how you think it does. I did exactly what you asked me to do. We won. Well, this doesn't feel like winning. It's probably as close as you're ever going to get. So what do you want to do? I mean, I know you love it, but take the millions and figure something else out. <laughs> That's what I would have to do. I mean, or you're not going to go back again at all? Like, I don't know. She did post it. Oh. Sure you want to watch that? I needed to see it for myself. I'm going to recommend suspension without pay while the department conducts their investigation. I'm going to push disciplinary action. Most likely there'll be no real consequences for their action. None that will feel satisfying. Reynolds has a long list of complaints. Excessive force, unlawful search and seizure, violation of civil liberties. He always stops just short of doing something truly awful. Well, maybe it has something to do with who's making the complaint. Almost every incident on their list involves a black or brown suspect. Wow. I'm not going to lie to you, Athena. Probably going to go away, too. For them, but not for my family. Certainly not for me. That's crazy. I can't imagine. Stock market's closed. You don't need to check your portfolio. Making sure Christopher didn't text. It's having the time of his life. You, on the other hand, are so amped you can't see straight. This is your idea of helping me. You're a powder keg. You beat up a guy over a parking space. But a place like this could be a healthy outlet for you. You trying to get him to join it? To fight? What, are you my therapist now? The chick could be able to get out of jail. Oh, we weren't talking about that. Bosco, you're up. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. You're fighting. Not the only one with stuff to work out. Hold my beer. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. Beat his ass. She beat his ass. Thanks for dinner, Bobby. I really needed to see my kids, you know. How are you doing? I'm still mad as hell. Me too. I thought the world had changed. Or I guess I wanted to believe it had. Oh, it's not just you. I got too comfortable. Architect, nice house, nice car. Married to a LAPD sergeant. Formerly married. Hmm. Thought I was exempt. And then I was reminded that I'm not. And neither is my son. That's the part that I'm really struggling with. Because that's the promise that we make, right? We have kids. That their lives be better and easier than ours were. Harry's 10. You shouldn't be worried about anything except for school. Just being a kid. Now I have to sit him down and talk to him. That's insane. Talk. I have to prepare my son for something that shouldn't even be his responsibility. I'm sorry. I wish I could say that I know what you're feeling. Brother, I'm so glad that you don't. If it had been worse, 
something would have happened to me, I'm so happy that they have you because I know you love them like they're your own. Oh, like that you can't let yourself think like that. Yeah, somehow I can't seem to stop. I need to talk to you about That's... what happened the other night. We have to. I know it was scary, but we need to talk about what I could have done differently. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, it's not about being right. Sometimes when you deal with the police, it's about being safe. Aren't they supposed to keep us safe? They are. But not all officers are like your mom. There are some bad ones. There are some that aren't so bad. Some of them will still treat you like you're different than the other kids. Because I'm black? Yes, because you're black. So, you need to know what to do when you come in contact with the police. Be respectful. Do what they say. And don't ever make them feel nervous or panic. But they're the ones with the guns. What if I'm more scared than they are? You probably will be, but they might not understand that. So you can't yell or argue with them. Always keep your hands. They can see them. No sudden moves. Don't reach for anything. Ever. What if they ask me for something? I don't have a driver's license, but... Right. When you ask them for permission, okay? And then you move very slowly and you tell them what you're doing as you're doing it. Why are we different? We are not. You just said. I said that some people will see you differently. They will look at you and judge you, but those people will never know who you are. You are a smart, kind, beautiful black boy who's going to grow up to be an amazing black man. Be proud of that. Don't you ever forget. Promise me. Promise. Good. I love you, Harry. Love you too, Dad. That's tough. That's really tough. I don't normally like to like pause in, in the middle of a show to talk, but it just it, it just kind of reminds me of like my nephew, my niece and nephew are biracial and I have had to have this conversation obviously from a different place of knowing if that makes any sense. My parents are raising my niece and nephew and have for the past, you know, several years and having to sit down and have this conversation especially with my nephew when he became of driving age and he's in a car and you see all this stuff on the media and in everyday life that you know is true and that you know that you're scared of so to to sit there and have to have a conversation like this with someone that's younger that doesn't understand why they don't get why why they're having this conversation you know what i mean they don't get why it's a thing why it's a conversation that has to be had that whole thing just kind of threw me back to that very recent conversation that I had to have. In a different way, obviously. I'm a cop. I was just... Leaving your favorite water. Oh. O'Neill's, right? License, registration, and proof of insurance. You gotta be kidding me. Turn off the engine. Step out of the car for me. How much you have to drink tonight? A couple of beers. What's a couple? Two? 12. I'm afraid we're gonna have to do a field sobriety test. Legally, I can refuse that. And legally, I could throw you in jail. Glassy eyes, smell like alcohol, since we being all by the book now. Follow the pen. You don't give a damn about a DUI. Careful now. I've heard talking back to an officer's liable to get someone slammed up against the hood of a car. Even Ooh. cuffed. But I didn't know that was your family when we made the stop. Oh, they were lucky then. Somebody else's family, and they could be making funeral arrangements right now. Walking turn. You know the drill. It was all a big misunderstanding. I'm sorry if your family- Keep your weak apology. Stand on one leg. Humiliating, isn't it? Being treated like a criminal, singled out for no good reason, harassed by a police officer with questionable motives. I can report you. This is retribution. If it was retribution, I would have done it when your kids were in the car. Oh. Really, I'm sorry, Sergeant. You have a nice night. Damn. Athena is a badass, bro. She is a badass. Okay, listen up. Last couple times we were here, mistakes were made. That is not gonna happen again. That is why I am pairing you up on your assignments. Eddie, Lena, you are on Meats in Delhi. Nothing leaner than 92%. Pen, chimney, baking aisle, unrefined flour this time. I will cover fruits and vegetables. We will reconvene at the dairy case. Let's move! No. This must be what the invasion of Normandy felt like. What do you mean? Just drop the charges. I make it sound like you're disappointed. Just surprised, pleasantly. Apparently that wasn't the guy's first illegal fight. 
Captain America wins a get out of jail free card. And anyway, that jackass's knee surgery was three years ago. What? But not letting it go, because that's healthy. Bobby needs to let go of being pissed off at Buck. I know that. And so does Bobby. How you figure? What do you think this whole shopping trip is all about? Buck. Exactly. Distraction to keep no, our minds no, off. No, no, no. Buck. Whoa, uh... Hey, uh, you, you guys, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm just here to, to do some, some shopping. Eight miles from your apartment? This is the only place that has. Happy cat laxative powder. You're buying cat laxative? I've been thinking of uh, of get getting a cat. You're anticipating your new cat will be irregular. Um, listen, I I, I came here to <laughs> apologize. I never meant for things to get so out of hand. Yeah? Ever. Well, what do you think was gonna happen? The lawsuit's bad enough, but you told your lawyer everything about us, personal things. You're supposed to be truthful with your lawyer. Why are you so pissed at me? Because you're exhausting. We all have our own problems, but you don't see us whining about it. We just managed to suck it up. Why can't you? Uh, it's kind of harsh, not like the guy asked to be crushed by a ladder truck. No, but he filed a stupid lawsuit. Now I can't even talk to you because of you know, how much Christopher misses you. How could you? You're not around. Maybe I could come and visit Christopher. You know, the lawsuit doesn't prevent that. No, it prevents me from reaching out to you. I couldn't even call you to bail me out of jail. Oh. If that was something that happened. What, what are you talking about? Look, man, why, why can't you see my side of it? That's all you see. Someone should stop him. These two or those two? Let's go. Hey, get back here. Eddie, Lena, get the tools, and Timmy checking the drivers. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! This show. What are the odds? Hey, Karen, what's wrong? Doctor called. None of the embryos are good. Aww. What? We we had six. None. <clears throat> she said they had uh, chromosomal abnormalities or defects. They have to be discarded. Did so we could try again. Maybe do better next time. Okay, so. So we'll try again. I what if it fails again? Sort of froze on my eggs when I was younger. I just kept thinking there was time. Don't put this on yourself. Just put this on me. I'm so sorry. No, this is not your fault. You did everything exactly right. <laughs> every treatment, every doctor's order, you followed it. My body has been fighting me every step of the way. Fighting me. <laughs> the IVF, the IUI, the... Just trying to tell me something. Give up. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should listen. No. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no. Wow. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Sergeant Grant, I I'm Officer Andrew Martin. I was on the scene the other night for your family's traffic stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with your work. I just want you to know how sorry I am. I, I didn't see your son in the back seat, and then it was instinct. A bad one. When we say protect and serve, we mean the community, not ourselves. I remember being a rookie, not knowing what you're walking up on, not sure what to do when you get there. It's natural to follow your partner's lead. Just don't follow it off a cliff. Do better. Damn. So this is your idea of a team building activity? I can't fix the world. I can't offer some sage advice that's going to make everything better. All I can offer is this. Rage room. Let's go! I cannot believe you came. Rough day. I really need to break something right now. What's that? Cap sprung for the deluxe package. Full mini bar. Serve alcohol in this place? I'm surprised we don't get more calls from you. Nah. Uh, oh. Looks like you have some more team building. Oh, shit. Look at him, though. He's so damn cute. Hey, uh, hey, Bobby. D thank you for inviting me. Look, I, I just wanted to apologize. You're getting a call tomorrow from the chief. You're being reinstated to active duty. Brass didn't want the headache. They're afraid of the bad press. That, that's awesome. Yeah, maybe not. They gave me the option to transfer you. They understood how I might not want you back after everything you put us through. But I said no. You're coming back to the 118 where I can keep an eye on you. Oh. Thanks, Captain. You won't regret it. You might. Ooh. My house, my rules. Oh, shit. You're going to be treated rage like a probie as again? <laughs> intense, violent type of anger. Road rage, office rage, even airplane rage. Seems like the whole world is on the edge of snapping lately. But it's not the only way we use that word. A raging fire, a raging storm, a rager of a party. All things that are out of control. And maybe that's where our rage comes from. Yes. I feel that our world lives are out of control i said don't move okay right. when we feel helpless powerless they posted it we oh maddie where you been where's eddie he said he had other plans the rage starts to build and it needs an outlet 
So what happens when we let it take over? Do we regain control by unleashing our fury? Or have we crossed the line we can't come back from? Oh, shit. We got real intense there at the end of that one with Eddie. Eddie, come on now, dial it back. We don't need you to get all crazy. We don't need you to get all Fight Club. We don't need you to get all get hurt and shit and get in trouble. Reel it in. Reel it in. You should have went to the breaking break room. I want to go to one of those places. I really do. I think that'd be fun. But I don't really like always like to break shit. Just sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show. I love I love how they take very real issues and kind of kind of bring it to the forefront and talk about it and they're not afraid to go there like like same with like Penn and her wife and and those struggles that so many people in this world face um when it comes to starting a family and all that stuff. Sometimes on shows you see it and it's like just easy and it's happy and it's one, two, three, and it can happen. And, and this episode showed us that, you know, it's not always easy. It's not always guaranteed. And there are struggles and stuff that people go through. So it's important to see that kind of stuff too. I'm glad Bucky's back with the crew though. We'll see how that goes probably on the next one. So join me over there. I'll see y'all later. Much love. Bye.